Okay, so that's the wiring of the board underneath complete. I've repositioned the motherboard and the power supply so I can get closer on the ribbon cable. The ribbon cable going up to the screen, which is that piece there, um, is uh, you need about 150 centimeters to be able to do that, about a meter and a half. Those ones are only 120, so I have repositioned the screen. Let's just zoom in on some of these items here so we can see now. Now this is where I'm gonna to to connect the power supply going through from the actual power supply adapter here. So that's 12 volts uh, minus a negative coming out and going into there. Uh, and then that's going to obviously start powering the heater uh, and the motors. This unit here will work on USB, uh, but only for like programming and for uh, doing the, the text file and so on and so forth. Um, so it's just zooming on some of these other items here. So this item here is the thermistor, the temperature sensor, which is attached to the hot end. So that's going all the way through, up through the conduit, uh, all the way down to the front of where the Titan extruder is, and then obviously the E3D hot end, including obviously the heater wires here. Uh, these two and these two can go around anyway. Uh, there's no uh, positive or negative on, on those, so you can't get those wires mixed up. Then we head over to the end stops here, which is very hard to see, but it is labelled underneath. Um, but what we've done is we've attached it to the Z end stop, Y end stop, and X end stop. And then we go over onto the actual motors. So you can see here on all the coding of the motors, all the wires are the same way around. So we've got black, green, blue, red. Uh, sorry, black, green, red, blue, black, green, red, blue, black, green, red, blue, and black, green, red, blue. Starting at the top, that's my X motor, so that's doing my X axis. Second one down is my Y axis, my Z axis, and then my extruder. And it really is, the wiring is really as simple as that. The hard part about the wiring is actually getting all of these connectors in nice and tight. Uh, now until we fire up the machine and start doing some calibration tests and, and, and just some overall tests of the machine, uh, we won't know if we need to um, invert any of the direction of the pins. But from what I built on the first print table, I'm following exactly the same format as what I did on there, doing all the corrections that I did on that. So there's no reason why everything shouldn't work correctly. And then, as I say, the important part is about getting the wiring nice and tidy. So you can see that everything's in in nice uh, conduit, and it's all been screwed up. And then we've got the items going in through the conduit up to uh, the print head, or up to the Y motor. This one here is coming up, travelling up the pillar, and that's doing the X uh, motor and the X end stop. And then we come down to this corner here. And we're doing the Y end stop along with the screen, um, uh, the front TFT screen, where uh, we interact and obviously control the printer from as well. Now I know we've still got those wires, which is the blue ones, which I've left there tucked up inside. And also this one tucked up inside. And all it is, is they are ready in case there is any modifications, any changes that we want to do, and we want to access feeding wires through through these legs itself at least we know that we've got this wire running inside it that we can access and start pulling wires through if there's any additions or modifications that we want to do